Hi, we've made it to our Friday phonics. How exciting. So because I'm excited, we're going to have a go at saying the faster version today. Are you ready? Come on, let's all sing ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, S, Y, Z. Oh, fantastic. So, we've got our ten letters. We'll have a quick run through of them all. And then I've got some more pictures to match up with that first sounds that we can hear and then we're going to have a look at some more words we can read together. Are you ready? Well done. Off. Fantastic. Ah, well done. Hopefully you're saying them before I am because you may be taking them. Well done. Mm. Two more to go. And the last one. Mm. Well done. Right, let's have a quick look at our tricky red house words. Are you ready? The well done. If you manage to Get that picture back that we took last time and remembered this one today. The. Like. My. I. And the last one. Two. Well done. Right. I'm going to go straight to it. I've got five different letters with five different pictures. Let's see if we can match them up. So here we are, we have our t, mm, i, p, e, and we've got one, two, three, four, five pictures to match with them. So today I'm going to start with this one. Do you remember what these are? Yes, they're peas, p, peas. Hmm. Can we hear t in peas? Mm, in peas, i. In peas, p, in peas, or e, eh, in peas. Hmm, what's the first sound? Can you shout it out at me? Yes, it's our p, peas. It's the first sound we can hear. Fantastic, let's pop that underneath. Right, let's have a look at this one. What is it? It's a nest. Well done, nest. So what does nest start with? Does nest start with t? Does nest start with n? Does nest start with i? Does nest start with p? Or does nest start with e? Where do you think? Can you shout it out at me? Yes, it's our n for nest. Well done. Right, let's have a look at our next one. What animal is this one? It's a turtle. Well done. Say it with me. Turtle. Now, does turtle start with t? Does turtle start with i? Or does turtle start with e? Which one do you think? Yes, it's our t for turtle. Well done. Tricky, tricky one. Next, what is this? You're right. It's an egg. Can you say that with me? Egg. Now, does egg start with i or does egg start with e? It's a tricky one, but you're right. It's our e, e for egg. 
Fantastic. So that leaves this one. Now, can you remember what we said this was? What do you find inside pens? You're right, you find the ink. Can you say that? Ink. Now, which one must it start with? <laughs> well done. Our I for ink. Well done. So we have T for turtle, N for nest, I for ink, P for peas, and E for egg. Let's have a look at the next five. So we have A, M, K, O, S. And we've got our one, two, three, four, five pictures. I'm going to start today with this one. Can you remember what this was? Well done, it's a saw. Can you say it with me? Saw. Fantastic. Now, does saw start with a? Saw start with m? Saw start with k? Saw start with a? Or saw start with s? Which one? Shout it out at me. Yes, it's our s for saw. Well done. Right, the next one I'm going to some food that I really love but my husband really hates. You're right, it's a mushroom. M mushroom. Now what does mushroom start with? Does it start with a for mushroom? A m for mushroom? A k for mushroom? Or an a for mushroom? Which one do you think it starts with? Well done. It's our M mm for mushroom. Well done. Right, let's have a look. Oh, I'm going to try this one next. What animal is it? It's an octopus. Octopus. Mm. Now, what does that start with? A octopus. K octopus. O octopus. Which one do you think it is? Shout it out at me. Well done. It's our O oh, for octopus. Well done. Just leaves two left now. Hmm. Let's have a look at this one. This is the food that my Oscar really loves. It's a cake. Cake. Hmm. What does cake start with? Is it A for cake or K for cake? Which one? Shout it out at me. Yes, it's my k for cake. Well done. So that just leaves this last picture. What is it of? It's an apple. Well done. And what does apple start with? Our a. Ah, well done. So we have a ah for apple, m for mushroom, k for cake, o oh for octopus, and s for saw. Amazing! You're getting so good at listening to those initial sounds, which means the first sound that our word starts with. Right, as promised today, we are going to read some new words that we can put together by using these 10 letters. And a bit like a few sessions ago with our cat, mat, pat, sat, they all rhymed, didn't they? Because they all ended in at, cat, mat, pat sat. But today they all rhyme again but they don't end with an at sound. So let's have a look through them and see if at the end you can tell me why these letters or these sounds or these words <laughs> rhyme. Let's take a closer look. Here we are, we have got one, two, three letters and these three letters make three separate sounds. So let's have a go at saying them separately first. We have m, a, t, m, a, t, n, et, n, et, n, et. Well done, did you hear that? Fantastic. So by blending these sounds together, we have read the word net. Well done. Now I'm going to change my mm, and I'm going to put a s there. Are you ready? S, e, t, s, e, t, s, 
it. Sit. Well done. We've got another word. So we had it, net, and now we have it, set. Fantastic. Right. I'm going to change this and I'm going to put this one in. What is it? You're right. It's a p. So we've got p, e, t. Pet, pet, pet. Oh, I wonder how many of you have a pet at home. We would love a pet dog at our house, but we haven't got one yet. <laughs> so we've got pet, we've got set, set, and we've got net, net. That's three words already. Right, I'm going to change it for one more letter, and this time I'm using a Mm, well done. So, mm, eh, t. Oops. <laughs> mm, et. Met. Met. Well done. Met. So we've got met. We've got set. We've got pet. And we've got net. Wow. And what stayed the same the whole way through? You're right, it was our et, wasn't it? So we had, let me move these down, we had net, met, set, and pet. Wow, so our words before all ended in at, and these ones all end with et. That's what makes them rhyme. Right, I'm going to use my house words now and see if I can come up with a sentence for you to have a go at reading at home. Right, are you ready? So we've got I like my, I like my, Net. Well done. Now, which letters do we need for the word net? What's the first one you can hear? Mm, well done. Mm, I'm going to pull this up on it. We've got to grab that word net, haven't we? Put it in our mouths. Now we're going to pull each sound out. You ready? Eh. Mm. Eh. Mm. Mm. Well done, let me bring you back down. Here we go. I like my net. Net! Wow, that's amazing. Let's try another one. Are you ready? We've still got I like my. Hmm, now it is a cat, but what word have we looked at today? That might be another word I could use for cat. I'll give you a clue. It starts with p. Well done, pet. So we've got p. E. T. Pet. Pet. I like my pet cat. If at home you could have a go with your tricky words and you can write I like my and then see if you can, with your separate letters, write pet, cat. Two words, pet, pet, cat, cat. I like my pet cat. Oh, that's your challenge for today. If you can, take a picture of it and send it to me on dojos. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Don't forget you've still got your power maths and your story time and then you'll have a lovely, lovely weekend. So have a go at my challenge today and I will see you again on Monday for some more phonics. You're doing amazingly well. You should be very proud of yourselves. Bye.